year three and welcome to week five of our local area geography work. This week's question is what might Earthenborough look like in the future and what might we use it for? Now this week is the final week of our local area work. So we will be looking at everything we have learned about Earthenborough in the past and the present and the things that have influenced previous changes. And we're going to use these then to predict what the town might look like in the future. So our first activity for this week is about how could Earthen Borough be improved? We want you to look back at the results for the final question on the local area survey. What suggestions were there from people on how to improve the town? Do you agree with them? Is there anything else that you would add to the list? And then you can complete a um, mind map or a, a spider diagram of all the things that you think could happen to help Earthenborough be improved. Now, it might be that you have thought of other things, not just um, the suggestions that came from the survey. It might be things that have come up as you've been researching Earthenborough. But just jot down as many things as you can about how um, Earthling Borough could be improved for the future. Our second activity is about new and improved. And this activity focuses on the road structures in and around Earthling Borough. We'd like you to design a map to show the new, in, new and improved road layout in Earthling Borough. Consider the changes in and around the town. That might be um, with housing estates changing, it might be changes such as um, the supermarket being built, um, it could be things that happen maybe at Charles Milne that might have an impact on Earthling Borough or over on the other side towards Findon. So think about those things as well. Um, and what might those things mean for the transport that we see through Earthling Borough? Both the volume of traffic, so that's how much traffic there is, and the type of traffic. Is it cars? Is it lorries? Um, is it more sort of cyclists maybe? Is it becoming a cycle route? And what will happen if more houses are built? What will the impact be then? What will need to happen to the roads in and around Earthenborough. And do you think there will ever be an alternative form of public transport, transport offered that might impact the road use? We know that there was a train station um, many years ago that was closed, but maybe it will be reopened, who knows, in the future. So think about that as well. Is it just buses and cars that are going to use the roads around Earthenborough? So our third activity for the week is roll up, roll up, come and see. So for this act activity, we want you to think about if Earthenborough continues to grow and develop, what new attractions and landmarks might you see appear in and around the town? This kind of links to the first task and that last question on the survey about what does Earthenborough need to be improved? So you need to design a new attraction for the town that will fulfil the needs of the inhabitants, that's the people that live there. So use your ideas from the first activity and you can use this page if you would like um, to help you draw it, a bit like an architectural design. So think about what it might be, it might be a youth centre, it might be um, a doctor's surgery, um, it could be something completely different, it could be something that's maybe like a cinema or um, a play area. That's down to you to decide. You could also, if you wanted to, think about where that attraction would fit into the town. So you might like to desi design the town of the future. How will Earthenborough look as a whole and not just that one particular attraction? And then your bonus activity is linked to roll up, roll up. I want you to create a poster to advertise your new attraction. Think about um, why is it going to be a positive 
for the town? Who is it going to appeal to? Um, and you, yeah, use the poster to explain why your attraction will benefit the town. What are the positives of it? To try and really get the town involved and excited about your attraction. And then your final task of the week is the school of the future. So as we know already, Edinburgh Junior School has changed over the years. It's grown, it's much bigger than it was, the hall is in a different place. So what do you think the school will look like in the future? So design a new and improved school building for the children of the future. It needs to be realistic, but you can be as inventive as you like. You might like to talk to your parents about school, what schools were like when they were your age and how they have changed already. And use the information collected through the survey to give you some inspiration. Maybe you could even make a model of your new school and we have attached some instructions for you if you would like to do that as well. Schools have changed a huge amount, particularly because of the technology that's being used. Think about how schooling has changed already in the short time that we have been on lockdown. Think about how that might impact in the future as well. Remember, you can share all of this work either by Twitter or by emailing it in to your class teachers. We look forward to seeing what you come up with.